they want is they want an active carry they can run. But it's also just kind of like funny to Five hear. Uh, what do you? Yeah, case. Before maybe it was too good. Like you know, I'll admit. Because of the mana cost, it was a hundred at level one. I think they they nerfed it pretty hard, so the he has a lot of mana begins. problems right now on this hero. Oops. Ooh. Oh, nice. Expecting that many heroes. Oh no. There. KG. Oh, nice oh, interrupt no. on Timber the timber chain. chain. Oh no. Oh no. Stay down. Leave them to themselves. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I do. It depends on who's the highest rank. There it is. The there beat. it is. That's the strat. <laughs> Jokum. Ooh, trying to live a bit longer. The auto attacks in the Malthus Lotus. and the stick charges yes, here with the Lotus allow him to turn. In fact, he still has a Lotus level two wow, stun nice. connecting, and Chidori he will be the second to fall, especially with Ponyo coming through the gate. Five. Two one two build oh, no, even no. on the DK this time, so two points on the dragon and the breathe fire. Sorry, not maxing breathe fire necessarily, not straight up anyway. As bottom, they do get Shidori again. Can TP's on over should find this line with ease. Lotus oh, no, really Lotus. making him work for it. Ken is gonna be able to pick up the kill, but I mean, was he gonna be able to kill the Enigma? I'm making too many, as you say, on this hero so early on. Uh, if we oh, who got wisdoms right? One for one, yeah, one for one. Oh, they're just gonna kill him again into the hex. There he goes. Oh no, this is a disaster for the king. They're gonna try for Chuan. I say try because you know because he's a he's a DK. <laughs> I mean, he has a he he is going chakra. down. He's kind of falling low now, but with the fairy fire active, he missed the auto attack on the Bombi. But Bombi, the tower's gonna kill him. Ken out of mana. Chuan outlasting his kill. opponents. Oh my god. Alright, this is gonna be a mountain to climb already for Neon. Won't run into this DK and Lion Gang Squad. A really good defensive vision for Neon. We'll see if they can use this to their advantage now as they are calling in TPs. Looking for Jokum. Schwan knows something's up, so he's just gonna TP away. And this will leave the Lion behind. Yeah, nice kill. I mean, they're killing the Timber, so it's, I think it's a good trade for them, yeah? Like, good TP. Yeah, he knows that they can't really reinforce top, so is going to start going through the roof. Yeah, Luna is one of the, not the fastest farmers. Luna and Dusa. And Jokem once again, another setup, another kill. Pass away, gonna try to be there as long as possible. It's snowball, but to no avail, my friend, to no avail. Blocked by the Eidolons, no way. Now it's a DOT, but like, so is Dragon Knight's regular auto attack with the Elder Dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, no! Good. Oh, Chidori, he's gonna get Rest jumped. Three twenty-five health. No. That's what the finger is oh, okay. for, that's Winter. The finger. <laughs> that's the finger, Ponyo. Trying to fight the river. Black holes. Not gonna catch Ken. Instead, the Walrus will be left behind. A little punch there onto the Luna for good measure before he is killed off by the Lucent Beam. But Chuan, he's got Blink Dagger now, chasing oh, more, nice. chasing for the Storm Spirit, who is just getting too much mana, honestly, from the Chakra Magic. He he is gonna be uncatchable for now. Does that seem fair? Radiant's bottom I'll tower give you is under attack. Number. Maybe you can ask him. Yeah. What does it mean for the lore? I don't understand. Okay, this is a pretty decent stun. The lion as well to follow up. And the hex, they have the kill easily there. Ponyo secures it. That's brain sap. Delicious storm brain. You were gonna say kill steal. No, yeah, gonna I was gonna say secure. secure. He secured it. <laughs> and up 8k already. There's a Midas on WS, so his net worth and his items are going to scale very well as they continue to fight here. Akashi with the uh, Eclipse active. Those are level 3 beams, so not bad. But enough for the kill. On to the Tusk. The blink forward now allows him to catch the Malefice. Timber is just going to go in right in the middle of 5. Makes way for Ken to try and find the jump now. But Ken, oh, he forgot grip. about the Fiend's Grip. Ponyo puts him in the grave. Nothing Bombi or Chidori can do here. This game, it's disastrous. It's all over, my friend, I'm afraid. It's almost close to being over. Into Dragonlands. I think that's all Dragonlands. Sounds like a good one, but Sean is gonna find the clings. No dragon lands for you. So Deso here, they, they might try and turn this. Ooh, I don't know about it anymore. Ken is gonna be scouted on the back lines. They do I have a buyback. They're back. gonna go for it. They Holy have a bleak black hole, and they've already caught two Chidori as well as the castaway. But a really nice stun there to quickly interrupt the black hole. They're not gonna save the timber. It's not gonna save the tusk. And Chidori dusted again. Killed off by the right clicks of Akashi. Another grip interrupted here briefly, but it's just not enough, Winter. This is still gonna be a team wipe as Bombi. Oh, he gets away. He gets away. He's the yeah, lone that survivor. Was, that was very, very expensive. Storm, I bet. So it was five heroes going now.
That's kind of what happens when you're this, 13k down. At this point, they're gonna need the mini back row from Storm to win the fight. Uh -oh. Budget back row. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dory, he can't even get into his own jungle. Yeah, this thing must have been ruining his whole game. Yeah, Ken wants to try and make a play here. He knows WS does not have black hole, so he's weak in theory. In theory, because he also, you know, got a dragon's not weak, Richie. He has Look almost the dragon. twice the net worth of you as the Storm Spirit. Now JG in a little bit too deep as Chuan is gonna blink in after him. He has a triple kill going so far for him in this fight. Is uh, maybe looking for the rampage now if Castaway and Bombi want to oblige, but it seems like they want to retain their lives for now. 14k now is the net worth lead that Talon are going to be able to extend in game one. It's a bait. You know, it's not about the black hole winter, it's about the threat of the black hole. So now enemies are going to be more scared. Careful, they might have to be scared of this Luna who is going to walk past and clear her camp. They can make the jump onto her now. This is a very effective uh, initiation. If only they had a black hole to try and counter-initiate here. Unfortunately, they don't. Oh, but they don't need it when you find a beautiful two-man sun onto two of the course. Finger of death now onto Ken. What a fight out from Jokum. Chidori is still alive, but the grip condemns JG. The supports, once again, they'll make it out alive. But that's it. Neon Esports, there's just not enough fight in them here. Yeah, but fine. So pick up the slack. It's difficult, you know, when you're this far behind, you have to take risks, you have to make uh, ball moves and try to hope for the best. Ooh, that's the gem fed. Oh no! Did he recover it with the courier? What a what a player! What a chat. Yeah. Geek a chat. What a player. Let's see, they have blinks. I mean, this guy is definitely a, a very annoying player in pub. Dusk. He might kick things off here with the blink initiation, and he does. That's a nice jump onto the Bane. Is he tanky? Yes. Honestly, he's very tanky, but not that tanky. Come on, let's not be ridiculous. If he actually got his stick... Crabs in Dota? I don't think we have a crab hero, do we? I don't, I don't really think so. Okay, nice Lotus Orb actually reflects the stun. Snowball save now in, but it's going to pull Swan further out of this fight as Jokum, he's going to be focused down now by JG, but the Eclipse is through and the grip. JG's going nowhere. That's your tank down now. What left do you have? Castaway says, I can punch, I can fight, I can die, as Chuan is going to completely ignore him to go after even more supports. Diving up to the high ground, Chuan does not have another stun here, so he's actually going to have to let him go. JG, uh, sorry, make that Castaway also getting alive as Ken is uh, going to waste some time here trying to run. Chuan is going to eventually catch up to him, and there's just no way out now for the Storm Spirit. The bellows of ruin. It's going to be very, very difficult for them to bring down the Luna with the solo crash behind him. They have the detection of three-man nice. black hole, but the Orchid out from Ken trying to counter-initiate here. Jokum finding the stun, the finger of death now onto Ken, the Lucent Beam. No, the wand charges get him out of this engagement for now as JG surrounded by five heroes. Chuan jumping down to dragon. the low ground. That is a big dragon. Uh, they even have the damage for JG. Ken makes it out alive, but no one else does. Courier even is going to be killed. This time, there's no saving the gem. There's no saving this game, Neon. They tap out. Game one goes the way of Talon. Yeah, goes the way of Talon, indeed. The dragon leading the way. Uh, Place wards. So good on him, because you'd get that early ring of health. Uh, and Ursa. It's a kill lane. Whenever there's a kill lane, you should watch the kill lane. All right. Well, maybe we should watch down bottom first where JG's already died. Ponyo throws the blood grenade as they look instead for the Coddle, who is going to try and get past the bridge. You shall not. Oh, you can pass. Okay, he's dead. Radiance Courier has been Nice watch. Invisible Moon is going to be picked up uh, by Bombi. Mid lane. Mid lane. He's fairly, fairly healthy. That is true. Instead, the kill is top. With Castaway spending so much time here, things are getting a little bit spicy uh, in that top lane. We'll still here, though. Yeah, Bombi's going to be able to uh, make the difference. Makes all the difference. I can't believe you see that Bombi and Chuan both went to last hit the green. Oh, that's funny. JG rotating over. Soul Ring active has the Arena of Blood just barely catching nice the arena. DK. Ponyo, not enough mana to really do anything here, but with Akashi now completing his TP on over, things are getting a little bit funky here with the carry. No one's in the. See Mantha still on Earth, though? I've seen it. Not with the Battle Fury. Against Trin. Against Trin. Yes. 
Okay, Jokum. Trying to TP away. Ken, of course, has the Electric Vortex, so it's an easy kill there. They continue to defend this Tier 1 tower. Talon in the vicinity, thinking maybe they want to still look for a fight as Ponyo finds the Nightmare. Ken ready to jump back on in, though. That will keep the Bane away. Oh, oh, this is a... Uh move from Bombi, who has 14 wand charges. Stampede is going to come through now, uh, just to guarantee the kill there. In the next couple of uh, minutes here. Jidori, uh, there's a grip ready for him, and he did not get off the enrage. Should be a kill here, especially with, yeah, level 3 double-edge. Down he goes. On following the couriers here, seeing where it leads. Still really looks like he wants to fight, and with WS closing the gap, Okay, no blink yet from the Centaur, but he does find two now, but the auto attack's being blocked by the Arena of Mars. Now still Ponyo trying to continue with this fight, but doesn't actually have the Fiend's grip as Chuan, his ultra dragon formats, that's a two-man stun off from the Centaur Conqueror, WS, his cousin, is gonna end up getting him killed here? No, Akashi at least able to try and fight a bit longer, but he actually only finds the Coddle Jokum, a beautiful bushwhack, connects onto three, but he whiffs big there on the sharpshooter. Akashi's gonna go down, Nick be able to finish him off, Ponyo. I'm gonna run into the Mars here. He's gonna gonna die. Crazy. Doesn't really look like it. Oh, with Ken jumping in. I don't know, Ken. That might be a bit too much because they have a grip ready for you, Stampede. This is gonna be used now as Akashi wants to run in for this fight. They're underneath a ward here, our Neon. Remember, he, he's able to help. He's coming to the fights. Looking for me. Oh, he's gonna die. I was just looking at this build. People are saying you can his Vlad's offering. And Ken, who is looking for another kill on Caponia, will get it. Nice job here, playing well with Bombi for this game. Has the Kaya going into the Kaya and Sanj for the status of this mid lane. There's going to be an Arena of Blood as they try and make this jump on the Chuan. And Chidori actually able to pick up the kill. It might cost him the Aegis here, especially with the Glaives all bouncing around. Akashi has the vision, needs a bit more. The Acorn didn't bounce to Chidori. What the hell was that? Let's see. It's a bear. Though she'll a make bear do with almost true. anything, Oak and Ironwood acorns make the most effective projectiles, and the bulk of Hoodwing Stash. Now they're stunned here. On to Shidori as he does get off the Enrage. They've already thrown the Dragon Tail Stun. Gonna try and hit him here with the Sharpshooter, but it's not gonna connect. In fact, it hits onto JG. He says, get down, Mr. President. I'll lose my life for you, but he didn't actually have the arena. And now Ken, the stuns. Oh, they didn't have a stomp, though. It was on cooldown for a few more seconds. Look how fast he is, especially with his haste rune active Chidori. That last Bushwhack, that'll be the A just down as they turn back for Castaway, but they know they need to focus down here. They need to get this second kill onto Chidori, and my goodness, the burst damage is certainly there. Castaway is going to be able to at least trade WS away in return as they also get Jokum, who tried to jump onto the cliffs, but JG, he's bought back. The Arena of Blood now onto two. The Manta Dodge, though, Akashi being pulled back by the Vortex, still finds the kill onto the Storm Spirit, but the rest of the heroes here from Talon, they're going down one by one. They drop three kills for Castaway in that fight. Holy moly, the entire Smoke up yet again. This time they're gonna try and at least hold this cliff. Doesn't look like they have any observers, but they at least have the sentry down. That's Chidori! Oh, oh big my jump. god, he just blinks in all by himself. JG's in as the well. Grip onto the Mars. Grip onto the Mars. It's gonna prevent the arena of blood from coming through. Akashi doesn't really have enough damage as Ken and Chidori. They put down Ponyo immediately. Akashi with the VKB active. He fights inside the arena. He finds the kill on the Mars, but they've already lost three WS. He's gone down. Chuan as well. He's gonna be focused. No Elder Dragon form. Ken with the ultra kill in that fight as the Jump from Neon, it's nearly flawless there. Yeah, that was a very, very good uh, jump by the... I feel, He's out. I feel that. I feel that pain, really, honestly. And now, Neon coming to try and punish this attempt as the smoke is going to be scouted. W oh, no, that's JG. Oh, he finds WS, though. Perfect spear onto two. Ponyo, he can do nothing as he's going to be killed inside that arena as well. Jokum attempted to TP away. Nice Yule Scepter onto Ken. Buys him enough time. So it's just the loss of there, honestly. WS, Stampede being forced, but they oh, are going to him inside. Horse meat. That was really aggressive. I can't believe the game might just end like this. Chuan has an Axe Scepter, so he's actually doing a bit of damage here, but he's already lost the Bane. WS has buybacks, might need to use it now as Chuan is currently being targeted. Ken and Chidori going deeper and deeper inside the base. JG also throwing the Spear of Mars. Decent damage here, but now Chidori is going to be slow to a crawl by these Manta Luz. BKB active at least gets him off of the high ground as Neon Esports find themselves slightly overextended here, especially with the Aegis expiring. WS 
Ares. He jumps in, but Istan doesn't find anything, as now they do manage to get on top of the Ursa Warrior. Very nice job there on the Bushwhack. They get to Akashi with the double kill, and he'll make it three now as he picks up the Mars. Yule Scepter canceling the TP of the true carry, the Enchantress. She will be killed off. I cannot believe Neon overextend like that. Akashi seems to have uh, given... Neon, a bit of a shock there. They will be able to probably wait out the Cell the Dragon form, but Roche is going to be up in 20 seconds. We still have an Eclipse and a BKB for the Luna. Now oh, the, the Satanic storm is showing. As the Storm is showing to then break the Lincolns. Oh no, from the Fog of War. Oh my goodness, the Will-O-Wisp almost saved him, but it's not nearly enough. Bombi's going to fall as well. Kenny, he has buyback, but Jokum, he's found two now on the Bushwhack. Most importantly, Chidori, the Yule Scepter. Ursa, he has a BKB. He has the Enrage. He's going to use it now and try and TP way, and all that damage just will see him home safely two wagons two cars here to support as castaway at least able to plant a couple of good observers now from behind but they don't actually see where the rest of talent is because they're so far back they're gonna try and now overextend this luna with a pretty nice spear look at the damage that castaway is doing here with the arena of blood out akashi still alive still fighting now i believe with that satanic no is gonna be still alive here i can't believe it chidori finally at least getting on top of chuan there's gonna be a pretty nice blinding light to make him at least miss a lot of these attacks ws Running around now as JG finally drops after his BKB expires. WS pinned to the arena, but no, the cheese keeps him alive. Forces Kenta even commit even more. Buybacks coming through in forces Chidori and JG now buying back. Akashi focusing onto the building, but the glaive is bouncing everywhere. Bushwhack's gonna miss. That allows Chidori to jump back safely. Five buybacks in this fight so far. First dieback now over on the side of Neon as the Mars goes down. Look at that micro from Bobby. Immediately recovers the gem there. As we'll see if that makes the difference. Oh, oh the Willow Wisp, Jadori, he gets stunned. The counter initiation from WS. He has come back huge in this game, Winter. Five heroes he alive for Talon as they focus down on the final lane of Barracks. This is it for Talon. They were losing this game. They're making their comeback now, trying to go for the Megas. Ken, doing what he can, will be able to at least get Jokum. That is, in a way, a dieback here as he did buy back earlier, but Akashi. He's on to the tier 4 towers, Winter. This one, it's over. Neon Esports, they let this game slip away from them. They will fall in two, and Talon proceed to the BO5 finals to play.